Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's the 28th of July, 2023. Here to give you all a, an update on Algorand and show you how the buyers of this particular cryptocurrency may be being pushed to the brink of frustration because they're looking for the market to go higher in Algorand and the market hasn't done it yet. Now, I did this price prediction in Algorand. You guys can see it on my chart right here since July the 17th and price in Algorand has simply just ever so slightly gone down in price. This is why these buyers are getting frustrated into the market in Algorand. The market is just simply consolidating. I also came through on the 24th of July. And as you guys can tell, I didn't change my price prediction. So I'm in the same boat as you all looking for the market in Algorand to go up. Now, should we expect the market to continue to do that? Should that be our expectation is for the price in Algorand to go higher in price? Or should we kind of let the idea go and look for the market to go lower? What do you think? Because now is the time. I'm going to show you how price is still being maintained by those buyers. And here it is right here from the daily chart. Just like we've been here before back in June, June the 11th, 2023. This is where the market in Algorand is now trading. Back then in June, the market ran up. Here, those same buyers that were in June's time frame are now back into the market now. So they're trying to hold price as this moment. And if they're still willing to buy Algorand at these cheap prices of around a dime or 11 cents, then the market will begin to go higher. That's one thing I have to stress to you all is that one thing that we cannot control is when price is going to move and how fast it's going to move. So as of right now, I'm not going to change my price prediction, but the longer that we see market in Algorand hover right here above 11 cents and we're still getting weakness, then this prediction that I have my chart already know it's not going to be right. So you have to give the market enough time to play out. And being that we could produce this prediction on the 17th of July and here it is the 28th, uh, that time is dwindling for us to see the market in Algorand go up. See, it didn't take long for the buyers to move the market up in Algorand in June's time frame. So I will say from the 11th of June to the 16th. So what, five days? So here it is, the 24th of July. Here it is, the 28th. So four days. So I'm going to give the market maybe one to two more days to allow it to show us that it wants to go up. And if we don't see that play out, then we may have to move to the idea that Algorand is going to go lower in price. This is where the buyers initially came in. This is where they're still holding price. This is the two day time frame. Sellers were still present here on the two day chart here in Algorand. OK, but the market was able to close higher than the open and the previous close of the two day price bar. And here it is today. We're still looking for those buyers and seeing that price did not fall below 0.107 or 0.105. It tells me that those buyers are still present. OK, here it is on a three day chart. Market has simply gone down in price since our price prediction. And here it is on the five. OK. So it looks to me like the market buyers are looking for some type of incentive to move this market up. Maybe some type of news catalyst, maybe dwindle the amount of stockpile that's in the market before they'll be able to actually move this particular cryptocurrency to the upside. But like I said, I'm going to get the market a couple more days uh, to allow it to play out. And then from that standpoint, we'll come back in and, and move the market to the downside if we're not seeing the strength come through. Let's look at this on the hourly chart. You guys can see a little bit better that the buyers are still coming into the market in Algorand right there and how the buyers were actually able to move it pretty good here on this particular seven hour price bar. Sad part is that we didn't get any follow through. The sellers came into the market in Algorand right there around 0.111 and we came right back down. Volume is increasing on this seven hour price bar. So again, the buyers needs to continue to show forth that they're looking to move this market up in Algorand. Okay, so I'm not going to change my price, but I just wanted to come through and show you how the market could show you frustration. And that frustration will be seen on this area of support, which I just 
delete it and bring it back on this area of support and we begin to see weakness okay that tells you that those buyers are getting frustrated and then and then and that they are no longer buying algorand and then that's when the market will continue to fall lower all right so that is it give me your thoughts make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different